Hi, I'm Rich Harris, and welcome back to my barbecue series for Video Jug. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you my meat free special. It's my barbecue rolled aubergines. <music> Barbecues aren't all about grilling meat, and this is a great recipe for people who don't eat meat or fish. So, first thing to do is chuck a couple of chilies straight on the barbecue and just let them grill away. I'll come back to them in a minute. And then for the aubergines, just cut the tops off, and then you want to cut long slices lengthways down the aubergine about half a centimetre, roughly, half a centimetre thick. And then, just before we put them on the grill, I want to make a quick garlic oil. Take a grater and just grate the garlic into a bowl. I'm just going to add some oil. And for a full list of ingredients, check out the description box. So there's our garlic in. Add a good few glugs of olive oil. And actually, having this garlic oil is a really handy thing for all your barbecue. It's a great thing to brush over with meat, fish, vegetables, and just gives it an extra layer of flavour. And then just add a good pinch of salt. Give it a mix up. Take your aubergine slices and give them a brush with the oil on both sides. And as soon as you brush them, straight on the grill. So just keep going until you've got all of your aubergines brushed with oil and on the grill. If you take a look here, the chilli's just started to split and the skin's split and it's hissing and steaming. So I know that they're ready now. Aubergines lend themselves really well to barbecuing. They've got great firm flesh, full of flavour, and they go well with loads of other flavours as well. And actually because of their texture, you don't really miss out on the meat. You know, they're a really good meal in themselves. So depending on the size of your barbecue and the space you've got, you may need to cook your aubergines in batches and just give them one or two minutes on each side until they're just golden brown, because they are going to get a second cooking. So because I've brushed the aubergines with that garlic oil, there's this lovely smell of sort of roasted garlic coming off. You can smell the aubergines starting to char. It's going to be really, really good. So while the aubergines are grilling, we can make the filling. So I've got my chilies, which have cooled a bit now. Just take the tops off. Great way of de-seeding them when they're roasted. Just put the knife flat and run along and you'll find the seeds pop out the end. I take a little bit of the heat out. Then take your chilies, finely chop them. Doesn't matter if you leave a few seeds in there, it's going to add a little bit of crunch and a bit of heat. So next up, just some roasted red pepper. And these red peppers are great because someone's done all the hard work for you. They've been roasted, de-seeded and peeled. So you're just left with that really sweet flesh and that's going to add a real good sweetness to it. It's just going to go brilliantly with the spicy chilli and also with a nice salty goat's cheese as well. Next up, some mint. Mint goes really, really well with goat's cheese, works brilliantly with chilli, and is really great with the aubergines. And this is fresh from my garden, I know it's going to taste great. Just tear off the thick stalks and just run a knife through. It's going to add some great colour to the dish as well, but also it's just going to freshen everything up. So scoop up your mint, add it to your peppers. Right, to that mix we're going to add some goat's cheese. Use a good soft goat's cheese. I find it much easier to work into the mixture and it's also going to get much creamier as well and it cooks inside the aubergines and just work it together with a spoon just until everything's fully mixed. Add a little pinch of salt, don't forget there's quite a bit of salt in ghost cheese so you don't need much and then good few twists of black pepper. So it's a really versatile dish, you could use any soft cheese, just a normal soft cheese, soft goat's cheese, whatever you really like. And then you can really mix up the herbs as well. Use some basil, use some parsley, a bit of tarragon, whatever you like. Okay, that's ready for our aubergines. So once your aubergines are all cooked, take a spoonful of your filling and just stick it at one end. So just roll them up to form a neat little parcel like that. And just keep going until you've used up all of your filling mixture and your aubergines. So just secure the aubergine with a skewer and then just pop them straight onto the barbecue just to warm through for a minute or two. So literally just give those another two or three minutes just to warm through the filling. Carefully slide them off the barbecue. <laughs> and there we have it. Really simple, absolutely delicious. It's my perfect vegetarian barbecue dish. My barbecued aubergine rolls. 